Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? America is great because America is good. The President of the United States is often called the leader of the free world. Donald Trump and Ted Cruz talking about each other's wives. We've seen these aggressive acts before. What motivates people to, to participate in such violent anti-American protest days before our... Unheard of! Unheard of! Uh, in, uh, in our lifetime in American politics. Okay. It's a second part. I am part not of in the habit of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my father. And that pledge was not a blanket commitment that if you go and slander and attack Heidi, that I'm going to nonetheless come like a servile puppy dog and say thank you very much for maligning my wife and maligning my father. So apparently hell froze over and Ted Cruz endorsed Donald Trump. <laughs> is it really going to matter in the end? Senator Clinton, this is the same person who has taken more money from lobbyists than any other candidate, Democratic or Republican, of fighting for higher wages and better benefits and a fairer tax code and a bigger voice for workers and stronger regulations on Wall the Street. Person then you should who vote. took money from financial folks on Wall Street and then voted for a bankruptcy bill that makes it harder for folks right here in Pennsylvania to get a fair shake that she is qualified. Bernie Sanders lashing out at Hillary Clinton. Secretary Clinton has a number of super PACs. One of her super PACs recently reported they raised $25 million from special interest, $15 million from Wall Street alone. I don't think that you are qualified if you get $15 million from Wall Street through your super PAC. She will be the Democratic nominee for president. And I intend to do everything I can to make certain she will be the next president of the United States. I don't think you are qualified if you have voted for the disastrous war in Iraq. What on earth has happened to a truly great democracy that the choice is so awful? It's a contest for the biggest job in the world. So you wouldn't expect this to happen. I moved on her and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. I did try and she was married. It's huge news, Sarah. Just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss them. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. What we all saw and heard on Friday was Donald talking about women, what he thinks about women, what he does to women. And he has said that the video doesn't represent who he is. But I think it's clear to anyone who heard it that it represents exactly who he is. I'm, I'm kind because of distraught by the entire thing because it's so sick. Donald Trump has made a number of really strange comments uh, about his 33-year-old daughter. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Far from protecting his daughter from being talked about as a sex object, he has encouraged it multiple times. By the way, your daughter, she's beautiful. A Can I say this? A piece of What's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Well, I was going to say sex but I can't the relate world that. was revolted. And yet, the Donald is still in the race. I was getting beaten up for 72 hours on all the networks. If they want to release more tapes saying inappropriate things, we'll continue to talk about Bill and Hillary Clinton doing inappropriate things. Are you both modeling positive and appropriate behaviors for today's youth? Hillary Clinton's been mistrusted for One years. One of the women, at 12 years old, was raped at 12. It happened on this stretch of highway in Fayetteville, Arkansas, back in 1975. A 12-year-old girl brutally attacked by a 41-year-old man. Her client she represented got him off, and she's seen laughing on two separate occasions, laughing at the girl who was raped. Listen to her laugh, describing the moment she delivered her forensic expert's findings to the prosecutor. I had a family gift lesson. Rob just got ready to come from New York and said this miscarriage of justice. <laughs> took a lot of pictures. I had a problem. She passed. She's forever destroyed my face. <laughs> when I heard that tape, I was pretty upset. You lied on me, and you're supposed to be it for women? Do you call that for women? 
what you done to me, and I hear you on tape. If Lather. you look at uh, Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to women. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive what to women. What makes America the greatest country in the world? We saw what a mess this race has become. And also, how lucky the two nominees are, because what's now clear is that both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are running against the only person who they could possibly beat. Yesterday, FBI Director James Comey announced that Hillary Clinton would not be prosecuted for her email scandal, despite the fact that just about everything she's told us about it for the past year has been a lie. 90 to 95% of my work-related emails were in the state system. If they wanted to see them, they, they give a number of less than 1%, and you give a number of 90%. I think people want more options. I mean, we have 51 candidates for Miss America, and then we have two choices for president. It's a terrible choice. We're out of good options. This defining moment, change has come to America. آفت بزرگ دنیای قدرتمند امروز اینه که اون جایی که قدرت هست ایمان نیست. شما نگاه کنید این وضع انتخابات ریاست جمهوری آمریکا رو به دو نفر رسیدن شما نگاه کنید مناظرات اینا رو ببینید با هم چه کادران میکنن و هم چی میگن یکی از این دو تام رئیس جمهور خواهد شد در کجا در یک کشور بزرگ پر جمعیت ثروتمند و قله دانش بشری یکی از همین دو تایی که هستن رئیس جمهور این کشور خواهد شد بیشترین سلاح اتمی در اختیارش، بیشترین ثروت عالم در اختیارش، بزرگترین رسانه های دنیا در مشتش، رئیسش یکی از این دوتایی هستند که شما میبینید چی و کی هن. این به خاطر نبودن معنویت، این به خاطر نبودن ایمانه.